If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to no index pages from search. Now, what does that mean? It means I'm going to show you how to set pages so they don't show up in Google search. So chances are you've got some pages on your website that you don't want showing up there. Maybe it's a page in progress that you're just kind of working on, or maybe it is a page that is for a specific audience and you don't want other people to stumble onto it. Let me show you how to set that to no index. All right, I am here in my scribe template for authors. If you are looking to DIY your website and want to get a jump start, check out my Squarespace template shop. I'll drop a link below. In this video, I'm going to show you how to no index pages for search. So prevent pages from showing up in search. Now, why might you want to do that? Well, you want people to, when they're searching, find the most relevant parts of your website. Things like your Instagram link and bio page, that's not helpful. We don't really want that to show up in search. We want people to see your books, your homepage, your about page, things like that that make sense. So let's look at some pages here in this template that we might want to hide from search results. One is the Instagram link and bio page. Another is the custom 404 page. So this is the page that appears if someone follows a broken link on your website. So you can have a lot of fun with these. If you have pages like this on your own website that you want to be live, you don't want to disable the page, but you do want to hide it from search. So roll over any of these pages and click the cog icon to get to the page settings. And if we go into SEO, you have an option here to toggle on hide page from search results. You'll see it's already toggled on here. Now, if it looks like this and it's asking you for SEO titles and descriptions, that means it's not hidden from search results. So if you want to just toggle it on to hide the page and hit save and do that for any page that you don't want Google to serve up in its search results. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>